I'm here with a uh, Panther replay from, I think this was yesterday or the day before. Um, <laughs> this is going to be out of chronological order. I decided to uh, try a couple of commentated replays, which I then decided against just because I couldn't think of anything to say, but this is one of the games where I think it would actually work. It saves me undertaking it. Um, so the first thing I'm doing is heading to the rocks here. It's kind of an exposed position, especially with two uh, top tier arty, but I'd like to get shots at anything stupid enough to go up the hill. It's a decent spot for the Panther right at the start of the game. I don't want to be on the bottom of the hill because it's even easier to hit with the arty, and if they push me, I'm in deep trouble. The other good thing about this position is I'm covered from my left, so I can play peek and poke with anything that goes island and stop them from uh, shooting on the hill guys. As you can see, my platoon consists of an IS and an SU-152. Pretty good combination with a Panther. The IS can go up and brawl, SU covers me. Here we go. There's some Get a quick shot into the Tiger. The Rhine Metal is a lot harder to hit, being lower to the ground and further back, so I leave him. Another easy target and an important one. And we remove him from the game. Now I get spotted doing that, so I quickly move back a little, just in case Artie takes a shot at me. And also because I don't know where that Rhine Metal is set up. So for now, our team is not doing the best. We're sort of trading one for one at the moment and they haven't really seized town. So we're trying to play it a bit conservative. Periodically this Tiger pops out and each time he does, I make an effort to punish him for it. See this rock is screening my thin side armor. For the most part, there's a small gap in coverage at the front. The last thing I need is for an HE shell from that Rhine map to hit me in the side. It will probably one-shot me. Tiger backs out again. We'll quickly put a round into him. Rhine metal's up. Here we go. It's obviously seen me. So I start firing at it. I need it dead as quickly as possible. And there we go. Fire. But, I take an unnecessary hit. No, that wasn't needed at all. I could have backed off and let him miss. Somebody else would have killed him anyway, but I wanted him out of the game as fast as possible. Given the choice between shooting at a Rhine Metal and an ISU, I will shoot the Rhine Metal. Speaking of which, here comes their ISU charging into the open. Uh, miss a shot, and then bounce one. Um, I get punished for it by the Tiger, who's still in that same position. Now, I didn't need to take those hits either, and I probably shouldn't have, uh, but, you know, once again, helping remove an ISU from the game this early on is pretty important. Um, I'm not sure if this is going to appear before or after my other uh, commentator videos. Because my internet's so slow, and the way I upload things, um, things don't always appear on YouTube in a strictly chronological order. I did record the other videos about a week ago, I think, but they have not been uploaded yet, just because they're large files and I had other games I wanted to upload first. I've got a, a, a waiting list of about 15 or 20 videos at this point, which is going to take me two weeks at least to get through. So as you can see, I'm still using the rock to screen myself. The tiger's at low health, but he can still wreck me. You know, I'm potentially too shottable for him. But we've basically won the, the uh, fight for the hill. They're not pushing it anymore. So SRB can come back and help out. Obviously, though, the tiger is not keen to push with that few hit points. So Durandal moves up, SRB moves to cover. Our team seems to be going okay in the village. I uh, notice our Ferdinand and, and Nassau, which have not left base yet. Useful. Tiger's down, I can move. So Durandal moves up the one line with a view to flanking their force in base. Um, we know the KV 2s there, could hazard against a couple of TDs are also on the ridge. And SRB moves up with me. Now I've got to be careful because those TDs can pretty much all one-shot me. There's a KV-2, which can definitely one-shot me. I make a quick shot, RNG prevails, and he backs off for a moment before getting the living shit arty out of him. 
Now yeah, here we go. This is where I fuck up. There was no need to drive in front of this Jackson. My platoon mates had him handled. I just wanted to get in some extra damage, but when he disappeared on me and I moved, I lost my shot. And he hit me for it. There was really no need for that at all. But luckily I survived it and the SU-100 was looking at Durandal. So I managed to scan the cover. Looking at my options, I can't hit the Jackson. No point trying to hit the Jackson. He'll kill me before I kill him. But I can get a sneaky shot on this SU-100Y while he's not looking. So I do. And it connects. And that is the end of the game. Uh, usually with my Panther I'll play it kind of reserved. Um, I don't agree with this mentality puppies have of calling things some, uh, calling something correction a sniping tank or a brawling tank. I think it's a load of crap. Um, most so-called snipers, my Centurions for example, p brawl spectacularly when they're well used. The Panther can do it too, not as well as a Centurion, but the Panther can handle close fights. It's just a case of knowing what your tank can do and picking your engagements wisely. With that said, on an open map where I can sit back and get shots at long range, of course I'm going to do that. Um, just before I cut this video, um, one last thing to note. People who have been following my channel for a while probably realize this, but uh, for you newer people, I do actually have a fully upgraded Panther. It's just I use a visual modification in the game, uh, which makes it look, you know, all cool and authentic and World War II-ish. Um, as much as I adore the hilariously long Pinocchio gun, I do like the look of a historical Panther a lot better. So that's all that's going on there. It's still a, a fully upgraded Panther with the L100 gun and the uh, Schmaltum. Anyway, I'll cut the video there before it blows out to 5 gigabytes, and uh, hopefully I'll have it uploaded fairly soon. Obviously you're watching it, so it has been uploaded by now. And expect more to come, um, but I don't know if they'll be commentated or not. It really depends on what happens in the game. Um, if I think they're worth, uh, worth commentating, I'll do it.